Hey there, and to, you know, continuing with my reading of the Salon de Femme. Uh, so, this book, yes, and today I'm on page 17, and let's get going. Homage to relationship versus homage to vagina. One of the things I want you to get from this Salon de Femme is to be able to have your feminine side without the necessity of making it a problem with men. Nothing should be a problem with men. Everything should be a choice. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to relationship are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to relationship are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to relationship are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to relationship are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Now the male version of this is what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to vagina are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to vagina are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to vagina are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to vagina are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So both sides of this are playing on everybody and that creates a lot of, of opposition. You want him to worship your vagina and you want to worship your relationships. Women are trained to the idea that everything is about relationship. Your relationship to your kids, your relationship to your spouse. Men and women are worshipping different, different gods and wondering why they can't get it together. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to relationship are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to vagina are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to relationship are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to vagina are you choosing? Everything that is times godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Salon participant, is there also an eternal homage to not having, a, not having relationships? Or is that a different side of the same coin? Gary, yes, it is a different side of the same coin. If you're doing homage of any kind, you're not being present with choice, possibility and question. We have to get rid of the homage to relationship, either for or against. And we have to get rid of the homage to the vagina, for or against. Both of them create a problem where you end up with an oppositional point of view. 
Gary, what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to relationship are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to vagina are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Gary, the second question, what stupidity are you using to create the eternal homage to the vagina are you choosing? Is strong for me. Can you explain that? Gary, at some point in some lifetime, you probably decided you wished you had a vagina. Salon participant, me being a man in that lifetime? What constitutes masculine and feminine anyway? Gary, yeah. The whole idea of being for or against a point of view is hysterically funny to me. There isn't anything you haven't been or done in one lifetime or another. What constitutes masculine and feminine anyway? Salon participant, that was my next question. Gary, well, I've got a process for that too. What stupidity are you using to create you as the concubine of messed reality, physical reality and psychological insanity are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Messed reality is a reality comprising of matter, energy, space and time. Okay, so let me uh, do this again. So what stupidity are you using to create you as a concubine of messed reality, physical reality and psychological insanity are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. What stupidity are you using to create you as a concubine of messed reality, physical reality and psychological insanity are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. When you make you a concubine, it's like being the mistress of messed reality, the reality of matter, energy, space and time, physiological reality and psychological insanity. Because in this world, don't you become a slave and servant to that? It's like the creation of sex to most people. For instance, how many times have you had a relationship in this matter, energy, space and time reality that has been joyful for you? Salon participant, ha ha ha, Gary, hardly e ever. And how many of these relationships have been about your physiological reality? How many of the people you've had sex with actually enjoyed sex? How many of them think that you're beautiful, wonderful and fabulous because you are? Salon participant, not many. Gary, and then there is psychological insanity which is where most people function from in relationship. Um, of all kinds, most people use judgments to create sexual excitement. Judgment is not a way to create an expansive world. It's only, it can only create a contractive one. Does that help? Salon participant, my whole body is a struggle now. The energy is all messed up. Gary, that is why we are running this. We've got to straighten out your bodies so you can have greater ease with them and everything you choose in life. This teleclass is to get you to a place where you can have ease with being a female, ease with choosing to act like a male, ease with creating as a male does and ease with creating as a female does. Right now, most of you are struggling for or against one side or the other, which doesn't give you total choice. Do you guys get that? Nothing in this reality is about choosing and creating your sexual identity and reality. It's about buying into everything you are told and sold, everything out there in the world that tells you this is how it is supposed to be. So everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? 
right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create you as the concubine of messed reality, physical reality and psychological insanity are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. What stupidity are you using to create you as a concubine of messed reality, physical reality and psychological insanity are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Salon participant, Gary, you mentioned the freedom to create as a man or woman. Will you talk about that? Manipulation and knowing. Gary, the thing about men is that they tend to be cr quite straightforward. They are more direct than most women. Boom, boom, boom. They also lie well. If you are a woman, you learn that men will lie and you try to confront them, control them or manipulate them to get them to tell the truth. Actually, you shouldn't try to get them to tell the truth. You just want to know the truth or you want to know what the truth is because that gives you control over the situation. Okay, hold on. My son is at the door and I have to open it. So just give me a moment. Well, life happens and... You can't have a perfect scenario in a Facebook Live. <laughs> okay, let's carry on reading from here. Sorry about that. Okay, Gary. The thing about men is that they tend to be quite straightforward. They are more direct than most women. Boom, boom, boom. They also lie well. If you are a woman, you learn that men will lie and you try to confront them control them or manipulate them to get them to tell you the truth. Actually, you shouldn't try to get them to tell you the truth. You just want to know what the truth is because that gives you control over the situation. Part of being a woman, part of womanology is having a sixth sense. You have an awareness of things that men don't have, but that is not encouraged in this reality. Your innate ability to know is not encouraged. You are supposed to give up your knowing in, front, in favor of manipulation, as though manipulation is going to be the ultimate source of control instead of awareness. No, with awareness you can have control over anything. Salon participant, can you talk a little more about manipulation and knowing? If I understand correctly, you're saying I use manipulation rather than knowing the lie is there and using it to my advantage. Gary, yes, that's what we are taught in this reality. We are taught to cut off our awareness at every opportunity. Were you taught to believe everything your father said? Yes. You were taught that you could trust your father. So every man becomes someone you can trust, right? Salon participant or the opposite actually. Gary, it goes in both directions. Neither one can give you the freedom. Wow, the book is really heavy, right? <laughs> Neither one can give you the freedom of awareness. We are looking for how you get to awareness, not the place where you have trust and blind faith. How many of you have tried to create blind faith in men? Everything that is times Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. How many of you have tried to create blind faith in women? This woman is my sister, she will take care of me. When you cut off your awareness, women will be as mean and vicious as men if they are given the opportunity. How do you give someone that opportunity? By cutting off your awareness. So everything that is times Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. 
right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Let me run this again. It kind of has a charge to it. So how many of you have tried to create blind faith in men? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And how many of you have tried to create blind faith in women? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And guys, just feel free to uh, type in any questions or anything or whatever this is bringing up for you. And I'll see if I can address it. Um, okay. Salon participant. In religion, we are taught as females to give up our knowing to the man. Man is the owner, the leader, the authority. Gary. Religion is part of the messed reality where all men are connected to God. If you have a penis, you have a direct line to God. If you have a vagina, you have a hole in which all men plant the seed of reality. <laughs> this is so, so funny. <laughs> so everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. As a woman, in physiological reality, you have certain capacities. And as a man, you have certain capacities. Actually, we all, we have all capacities, but none of us are using them. Okay, let me read that again. We have all capacities, but none of us are using them. The important thing is to get to the place where you have all of the capacities available not just part of them okay so what energy space and consciousness can we and our bodies be to have all capacities right away with total ease for all eternity and everything that doesn't allow it will you destroy and uncreate it all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds so what energy space and consciousness can we and our bodies be to have all capacities right away with total ease for all eternity. Everything that doesn't allow it, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Salon participant. What came up for me is a man's word is law. Gary, it's perpetrated on all mankind that God is a man and what God speaks is law. What stupidity are you using to create the operative state of life and living as a female are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. What stupidity are you using to create the operative state of life and living as a female are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. What stupidity are you using to create the operative state of life and living as a female are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the operative state of life and living as a female are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Being a pragmatist of femininity, salon participant. A while ago you said, I want you to be a pragmatist of femininity. Can you say more about how would it be to function as a pragmatist of femininity? Gary, as a pragmatist of femininity, you will be willing to look at how you can use your feminine wiles and feminine charms to get what you want without taking away anything from someone else in order to make that so. It became obvious to me years ago that when women became a source of power in any position in business, they tend to work harder and more diligently and become meaner to prove that they are better than men. They are always trying to prove they are better than men. They are not using what they have available to get beyond men. It's like you are trying to prove you are better than a man by never being greater than the man you have chosen to be better than. 
everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds wow i'm going to read that one again so it's like you're trying to prove you're better than a man by never being greater than the man you have chosen to be better than everything that brought up or let down will you destroy and uncreate it all right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyonds salon participant being pragmatic means being able to look at what is what is the main thing that keeps us from seeing what is what clouds our ability to see gary mostly it's being in the fantasy being horny and being everything except awareness feeling is the cloud you have exchanged feeling for awareness so everywhere you have chosen feelings over awareness will you destroy and uncreate it please right or wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyonds so everywhere you have chosen feelings over awareness will you destroy and uncreate it all please right or wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyonds being a female pragmatist is seeing how you can use the things available to your advantage for example you have cleavage can you use that to your advantage with a man who is not too bright salon participant yeah gary can you use it with a man who is very bright salon participant yeah can you use it with a man who is aware yeah gary no you can't because he knows that you're using it that creates a different reality So what stupidity are you using to create the feeling of conflict between feminine and masculine are you choosing everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds so what stupidity are you using to create the feeling of conflict between feminine and masculine are you choosing everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyonds what stupidity are you using to create the feeling of conflict between feminine and masculine are you choosing everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds so i don't know whether you have noticed but all of these processes have a lot of charge on them your points of view about these things are one of the primary ways we keep this world in conflict they are one of the ways we keep this war going now that you guys are changing your points of view about these things the war will cease you may be a little stronger than you think shall i continue or have you had enough for today I think I'll continue maybe just two more pages okay stupidity versus awareness when i talk about stupidity i'm talking about all the places you make yourself unaware enough to be stupid about something you have to make yourself unaware in order to choose stupidity over total awareness if you have total awareness you can walk down the street and say that guy would be fun to have sex with that guy would be really boring that guy would be great to have a relationship with but he would be boring in bed you will have awareness of what your choices are and you will be able to choose accordingly as a woman you have more choices than men do i know you don't think so but the reality is you do because you're a female you've been given a pedestal to stand upon or you have been given the choice to slide off the pedestal or you have been given the choice to control the man utterly you have those three choices as the beginning context to create anything with a man most of you don't see that salon participant most of us are impelled to choose the one who won't choose us gary exactly that's the way most people function men do that too but they learned over time that they get they get chosen by the female 
Females keep looking for men who will choose them. But in actuality, women have the choice because if they say, come here, the man says, yes. But if the man says, come here to the woman, the woman says, fuck you. Everything that is times God willing will you destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, I let my guard down. Salon participant. In my first marriage, I was doing I will change you. That didn't work out and I immediately went into another relationship. He didn't want me and I wanted him. So that one didn't work out either. I went into my third relationship saying, whatever comes my way, I'm keeping an open mind and going with it. I finally found a relationship that I'm very happy and comfortable with. That's because I let my guard down and I don't place a judgment on what the relationship is going to be. Gary, uh, the most important thing you said there was I let my guard down. Most women don't see that they are guarding against men most of the time. Salon participant. I've learned through access consciousness tools to let things go. And I've found that when I do let go, everything flows to me easily. There's a greater sense of freedom. And I feel more secure with who I am. Gary, the purpose of this call is to get you to a point where that's always the choice you have. You never have to put up your guard again. Because when you put up a guard against someone, you, you also have to put up a shield against awareness. Everywhere you have put up a guard against someone and everywhere you have cut off your awareness, which makes you stupid enough to make wrong choices, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So everywhere you have put up a guard against someone, and everywhere you have cut off your awareness, which makes you stupid enough to make wrong choices, will you destroy and uncreate all of that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Salon participant, I'm feeling mad at you. Carrie, was it something I said? Salon participant, you, the man telling me, the woman, that I have more choices. Gary, I'm not a man, I'm an infinite being. Salon participant, ha ha ha, thank you. Gary, how dare you call me a man, I'm an infinite being. Salon participant, Gary, that's awesome. I see that I put up my guard up to you because I was doing the man-woman thing with you. Gary, yeah, we do that with all the people we come into contact with. We are always on guard. We always have a protection. We always put up walls and barriers rather than realizing that we always have total awareness. How many walls are you choosing to keep you away from total awareness and everything you desire? Everything that is times Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. How many walls are you choosing to keep you away from total awareness and everything you desire? Everything that is times Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. How many walls are you choosing to keep you away from total awareness and everything you desire? Everything that is times Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. If I were you, I would put up your guard against me because I'm a really bad person. I have one thing in mind and that's to get you to total awareness. If you really don't want to have that, then you'd better put up your guard or else I'm going to take you on a wild ride. What stupidity are you using? To create the feeling of conflict between a male and female are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. Right and wrong, good or bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what stupidity are you using to create the feeling of conflict between a male and female are you choosing? Everything that is times Godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. 
what stupidity are you using to create the feeling of conflict between a male and female are you choosing everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all right or wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyonds so what stupidity are you using to create the feeling of conflict between a male and female are you choosing everything that is times godzillion will you destroy and uncreate it all right or wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyonds so i think i'm going to stop here <laughs> and that was really amazing i mean this book is really amazing and thank you guys for kind of joining me while i'm reading this book it's fun to do this in a group uh, i feel so bored to do it all all on my own so i'll see you again uh, tomorrow um, when i read uh, the next few pages in the book bye now see you tomorrow